I completely forgot this was going to be a thing. I've been so focused with other stuff that's been going on lately, and uh, I completely forgot this was going to happen. <laughs> but anyways, here we are. Darth Vader versus Doctor Doom Death Battle. Um, I know about Doctor Doom because I am a fan of the Fantastic Four movies, even though they're completely terrible. They're sort of guilty pleasures to me. And I've read a few of the comics. Not all of them, because I'm not a huge comic book person, because... Obviously, see, I'm visually impaired. Reading for prolonged periods of time kind of strains my eyes and it hurts, blah, 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 blah. Um, I do know about Darth Vader. I know what he does. I just haven't seen what he does because I don't watch Star Wars. So, please don't kill me, Star Wars fans. I'm not a Star Wars fan myself. But I guess since I know more about Doom than I do Darth Vader, I have to go with Doctor Doom. Uh, so, I'm, cheer I'm rooting for him. Plus, Marvel's history of winning in death battles is pretty good. Well, except for Beast, but you know what I mean. So, here we go. Darth Vader versus Doctor Doom. Ready, set, go! Hey everybody, I'm Chad. I play Boomstick. I'm Ben. I play oh, Wizard Boomstick. Boomstick. After the video, click the link in the description. It's going to take you to podsurvey.com forward slash Everything's channel, itchy. Where you can fill out a quick anonymous survey. The survey is about making sure that you don't see ads you don't want to see. And if you filled out a survey for us in the past, this is a brand new updated one with a brand new opportunity to get a $100 gift card to Amazon. So go do that after the video, but right now, it's time to see... I could use that $100. Oh yeah, Amazon. Speaking of Amazon, I actually got a capture card off of Amazon today, and it should be coming in soon, so hopefully I'll be able to record Super Smash Brothers stuff. Finally, I have all the equipment I need to be to do Let's Play stuff, so my channel should really be taking off, because I really do want to do a Let's Plays, and it's just going to be fun. We're going to have a good time. My channel's going to get started. Get excited. Okay, now I'm going to focus on the video. Enough talking. Blah, 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 blah. Weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. I hasn't started that part yet. But before he was a dark lord of the Sith, he was Anakin Skywalker. An innocent child sold to slavery on the harsh desert planet of Tatooine. He's so cute. I just want to snuggle him up and pinch his cheeks. Maybe Angel and I can adopt him. Angel, if you're watching this, can we please adopt little Anakin? That would be cool. And measured his power level to find out that this kid was the chosen one. Destined to do something great that would bring balance to the all-powerful force. Whatever the f*** that means. <laughs> Freed from slavery and trained under Jedi. I don't know what it means either. I don't watch Star Wars. Anakin grew into an extremely powerful Jedi. Capable of lifting starships and crushing oh, wow. buildings with just his mind. Oh, the force. I thought he meant, like, lifting with his arms. I was like, wow, he's strong. But nope, the it's the force. He also grew into a really arrogant and whiny douche. It's all Obi-Wan. I apologize for that. Excuse me. Wow, he looks whiny. The vast potential of the force was intoxicating to Anakin. Unable to accept loss and pain, Anakin sought new powers to fix his problems. After a Hakuna Matata. He decided he had no choice but to turn to the dark side of the force for answers. Or the dark side of the moon. Despite being trained in the Jedi's pacifism, Anakin learned that he was really freaking good at killing <laughs> and murdered nearly the entire Jedi Order. His punishment Man. a tearful breakup with his old master and a leisurely dip in a pool of lava. After some pretty intense reconstructive surgery, that looks painful. As the black cloaked Lord of the Sith. <laughs> Good. The coolest voices of all time. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the. I want his voice. Vader's body was sustained by his dark armor, a mobile life support. I really don't like whiny villains, so thank goodness he turned a lot cooler. The suit enhanced his vision, hearing, and physique. With his robot limbs, he can leap dozens of feet and lift several hundred pounds, all without any force. The armor is even dense enough to deflect lightsaber blows. Wow. Unfortunately for Vader, his new body had several problems. 
The armor was cumbersome and weighed him down. Much of it was mismatched, snagging and pulling on his body. His mm. incessant raspy breathing often kept him awake. His synthetic skin itched. So no sleep. And the control panel on his chest would sometimes beep for no reason at all. You're saying in this technological marvel of an age, we can't fix one person who's fallen into lava? I find your lack of faith disturbing. It's very likely Vader's Sith Master, knowing his new student could become more powerful than himself, included these faults on purpose. While it caused problems, oh, I have a booger in my nose. It's really uncomfortable. Custom to his suit's limitations and modified his fighting style to complement his new stance and strength. And while his life support systems are vulnerable to electric overload, should the worst happen, he can use can't, the can't he use electricity too? He can use electricity too, right? I think I recall him doing that. Lightsabers, which are already cool as shit, Vader can manually adjust his to double its length. But if it lasts for more cool. than four hours, he needs to consult a doctor. All too easy. Smash <laughs> connection to the force and training in both Jedi and Sith arts, he's learned a variety of techniques. He can Okay, this booger is really uncomfortable. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be listening. I just gotta go off screen so you don't have to see. His mechanical limbs cannot channel force lightning like his master. Uh huh. That's what I. That's what I just mentioned. Lightning. Okay. I got it. I apologize. You don't know the power of the dark side. Using the dark side of the force, Vader embraces his passion and rage in battle. Complimenting his extremely offensive fighting style. The angrier he gets, the deadlier he becomes. Mm. He's defeated That's scary. Jedi Masters, including Obi-Wan himself. He matched his secret apprentice Galen Merrick in force combat, who is powerful enough to move star destroyers. And with the force the ganger of Darth Maul by impaling himself. Damn, that's dedication. And finally, after discovering his long lost son, Vader had a change of heart. He rescued his son by sacrificing himself to destroy the Sith once and for all. Do it. Or at least until the Do next it. movie comes out. Oh. Darth Vader is impressive. Most impressive. There is no escape. Don't make me destroy you. I am your father. Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom. Master of science, sorcery, and his own country. Victor Von Doom. One of the most dangerous villains in the Marvel multiverse. Mm -hmm. I mean, just look at him. He looks like death itself. But before he was Lord of Latveria, Victor Von Doom was a gypsy. His father was a highly intelligent doctor who died of frostbite. And his mother just so happened to be a satanic witch who accidentally sold her soul to the devil. Poor orphan Victor was determined to master both science and magic to honor his parents. And... And that is why you shouldn't worship Satan, because you'll end up giving birth to Doctor Doom. For himself with a number of miraculous inventions, including a robotic duplicate of himself dubbed a Doombot. And get used to seeing those things. I mean, like every time Doom has been killed, it turns out it was just a Doombot. That's Marvel's easy way out of bringing him back. It's always a Doombot. Use the ring. It's a complete fake. He eventually developed a machine designed to take him to and from hell itself to rescue his mother. But it blew up in his face. No, like, really, it blew up in his face. And then he whined because his face hurt and it didn't look accident, pretty. Despite his only injury being a single scar, Victor was horrified that his always perfect face had been tainted. Mm -hmm. Victor ran away to the Himalayan mountains. And My precious modeling career! He soon put them to work building him an awesome suit of armor to enhance his power and hide his face. He was so eager to get the damn thing on that he put on the metal mask before it cooled down, messing up his face even more. Mm -hmm. His armor magically severed his physical connection to the world, I guess shielding it's... him from the nightmares and transforming him into a cold engine of logic. Thus, he took the name... I'm just not in shape today. <laughs> With his new armor, Doctor Doom soon conquered his home country, Latveria, claiming the throne for himself. Is he really a doctor? Well, he was expelled from college, but he just gave himself a Latverian doctorate once he was running the. What a cop out! So, technically, yes. What a cop out! Those of us with degrees had to work hard for our doctorates. <laughs> Do not have a doctorate. Yo, check it out! Got it in poultry science, specializing in the frying. 
Well, holy shit. It's a reaction. With it, he's strong enough to lift buildings, survive blows from Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet, and one-shot the Incredible Hulk. Plus, it has a force... Wow, he can one-shot the Hulk. Blasters. And also a molecular expander, which can enlarge small objects he keeps with him. Handy for turning tiny pebbles into giant boulders. Maybe I should look into this science thing. The armor also has numerous methods of energy absorption and manipulation, giving him complete control over all sorts of machinery. It might just be the most overpowered suit. That, he, he, could, he could control Darth Vader's it even suit. It pieces of the true cross to protect against Dracula and other undead enemies. It not only increases his physical strength, but also his magical abilities, which includes teleportation, mind transference, demonic summons, mystical blasts, and numerous other spells he's learned over the centuries. Yes, I said centuries. Doom time traveled to the earliest days of magic and learned all he could before returning to the present the normal way. By waiting. Oh yes, I think I'll be immortal today. But as awesome as his armor is, he's still a badass without it. One time, Doom found himself stranded on another Earth, buck naked after being switched with his arch nemesis Reed Richards by a celestial uh, long story. Anyway, he gets attacked by a lion. <laughs> he's not even gonna explain straight it. Straight up killed with a single punch, then turned it into a pretty sweet suit. Under Doom's rule, his country let Varia prosper. Its people loved their new dictator, though the rest of the world was of a different opinion. Probably because he keeps trying to conquer it all. Well, whether Doom is a bad guy is a bit up for debate. Sure, there was that one time he sacrificed the woman he loved to hell and had her skin turned into leather armor he wore, but oh. for a long time, Doom's top priority was actually rescuing his mother from damnation. And he eventually pulled it off. With that off the list, Doom did what any magically powered titan of science would do. He went time hopping to the future. Doom explored thousands of possible future timelines, and what he saw convinced him he needed to take over the world. See, Doom truly believes he must conquer the world, as that is the only possible future freed from suffering and want. Alright, kind of whatever right. he says. Even the panther god of Wakanda backed him up, and that guy looked into, like, all the futures. However, despite his overwhelming power, intellect, and intentions, Doom is extremely arrogant to a fault. It's ridiculous. I can't even count how many times Doom had world domination within his grasp and then dropped the ball. I mean, one time he stole the godly power cosmic from Silver Server and still uh, lost because <laughs> they tricked him into flying into a power cosmic sucking force field. But if Doctor wow. could just keep his ego in check, nobody could ever stand in his way. Your plan to destroy them has failed, Master. Failed. Ooh, that's scary. Alright, so it seems Dr. Doom is definitely stronger. He's way stronger. He could crush Darth Vader. But it seems his ego is so bad that it'll get in the way. So I still think Dr. Doom's gonna win, but just barely. So, my money's on Dr. Doom. All my predictions have been right so far. Please don't let this be the first one I get wrong. Let's watch. Lord Vader, we ambushed the rebels over the solution, but Skywalker escaped. Again. I apologize. I shouldn't have been so hasty to begin. Wise decision. <laughs> this boss is over. <laughs> He's like, hey, who are you? Don't underestimate. Everything's black and Doctor Doom just stands out like a sore thumb. It's kind of funny actually. Animation's very nice though. Very nice for a 2D animated fight. Woo! Get him, Dr. Doom! Ow. That looked like it hurt. This might be it. This might be fast like Beast vs. Goliath. Is this it? Witness the power of the force.
all too easy. Fake out. Doombot. Enough. Doombot. The Doombots came into play. I knew it. Electricity. Oh, Vader's out. What is the meaning what? of this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he time traveled. Oh, poor dinosaur. Ooh. All right, so I have no idea who's gonna win this time. I thought that was a fake out, and the Doom was gonna win, but nope, it's still going. Impressive. Oh, they're in a volcano. Is he gonna send him back the way he came in lava? Come on, Doom. Oh, he can survive without a suit, though, right? Thanks to the Force. No! Doom! Come on, Doom! 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 Come on, man! Yes! Woo! I was right again! Wow, that. <laughs> wow! I legitimately thought I was about to be wrong there. from the physical world have protected him from reality warping and telekinetic attacks mm. from the likes of Thanos and the Silver Surfer, whose power makes Vader's lightsaber and force choke look like child's play. Even if Vader could get through that suit, Doom's mind is armored by his sheer willpower, preventing any of Vader's force power, mental reading, or manipulation. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, Vader was forced to meet his doom. The winner <laughs> is Dr. Doom. Oh, Alright. Who's next? Please actually reveal both of them. Oh. 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 <gasps> Goku, you're ready to lose a second time. Mmm, Goku's getting ready to lose the second time. Bye, Goku. Ooh, ooh. See you next time.